Sit on the Zarya control module. The International Space Station is underway. The proton building up thrust. Good roll and pitch program according to flight controllers. The first component of the International Space Station heading toward orbit. Houston Endeavour, we have capture of Zarya. The, the hatch now coming open uh, to Unity. Cabana and uh, Sergey Krikalev enter the module. Uh, if you got live coverage, look at the volume Sergey is floating around in. Uh, we are so pleased and excited and proud to be uh, a part of the team that made this happen. And our special thanks to all the ISS folks, all their hard work. Uh, we remember when Unity was just an aluminum shell, and it is a truly fine piece of hardware. And uh, just thanks to everybody in the space station program for all their hard work. Contact confirmed. Capture is confirmed. Zvezda now uh, firmly attached to the International Space Station. Alan, here you can see us deploying the boom uh, after the APFR didn't work out. Uh, we had a lot of good handholds there, and I just felt that we could do this free float. And it was just a matter of uh, keeping it under control and going slowly. And it, as you can see, it worked out pretty well. Ignition and lift off. Lift off of the Soyuz rocket, beginning the first expedition to the International Space Station and setting the stage for permanent human presence in space. Okay. We, ha we have contact. We have initial contact, initial contact of the Soyuz capsule with the Expedition 1 crew to the International Space Station. Contact occurring exactly 21 minutes after the hour. Let's look upon this as the real opening of the international space frontier, not just for a country, but for Russia, America, Europe, Japan, Canada, and all that are to follow.
one zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis with Destiny. Assign Uh, a little over 30 feet, uh, hatch to hatch, and it's full of bays for racks. We have six areas here we're going to put experiment racks in. And forward, you'll see the hatch where the shuttles will be docking in the future when they come to visit Alpha. Ready? Ready. Two inches. Houston RFS, we have kept the light. And here's Jim single-handedly extracting a rack from the MPLM overhead. We pass to your care Alpha's log with the hope that many successful entries here are recorded, that explorations are prodigious and discoveries wondrous. What a beautiful piece of hardware. It sure is, we agree. It's a shame uh, Chris can't do this with the shuttle arm. Now you can see the new Soyuz uh, moving in, a unique view of two Soyuzes at the International Outpost, two of three Russian vehicles now at the International Complex with an unmanned progress resupply vehicle docked to the aft docking port of the Zvezda module. And there is contact and capture. This is the uh, the maneuver that uh, I was supposed to say, yeehaw. So uh, consider it said. Here we can see the three uh, sets of panels. Each of them will extend uh, 75 feet long when uh, at its fullest length. Alpha Endeavor, uh, thanks to the great Canadian hardware, we are now in position and you have a go for P1 Gravel. Okay, great. A good view uh, showing the two spacewalkers at the end of the 45 foot long, 14 ton Port 1 truss segment of the International Space Station. Departing. Well, after five and a half months, we had a great time, but it was our turn to, to go home and turn the station over to somebody else. And that handover began with the arrival of the Expedition 7 crew. They came up with Soyuz TMA-2. We opened the hatch, and the handover began. This is now the first video I took of the crew leaving.